Boom Pals app. Now we have the Express Egg Cooker by Dash. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, comes with a video? Is it a DVD? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting excited over a video for egg cooking? I don't know. It's like people are going to be watching this. It's got a reci <laughs> recipe book. There you go. Oh, egg McMuffin. So you can cook eggs nice. in it. Deviled eggs. Eggs Benedict. Hmm. Okay. This is how it comes. It's so cute. How little it is. It's like an incubator. I've always seen these and said, I can just cook an egg on a stove, you know, <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, boiling. It's kind of neat. I wonder how it'll do with our eggs from the farm. Like any other eggs. So it comes with this little thing and it tells you if you want a hard boiled egg, you fill the water up to here, or medium or soft. And that's how much water you know to put in. And then this thing right here you use to prick the end of the egg before you put them in the tray. So, yeah, I did a little uh, research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, usually I just come in there and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what? But, <laughs> so anyway, I did a little research. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs it cooks. I don't know if I want to cook a whole seven. I think I'm going to do three. Well, they're doing good, aren't they? Yep. They're, um, our leghorn chickens. One of them needs washing. You didn't wash them before you put them in here? That's gross. <laughs> so this is the egg from the grocery store, and this is the egg from our chickens. And they're, it's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do two from our chickens that we have, and then one from the grocery store. Because I want to see how they peel, because always... The eggs that come from our chickens don't peel as easy as the ones from the grocery store. So that'll be a little experience, too. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. You just push it. I'm scared I'm going to break the dang thing. You are. That's what it does. It breaks it. Does it leak out the bottom? No. Well. I hope it's not getting shell in there. This is kind of interesting. So we'll find... All right, so let me get some water. You're supposed to put them whole down? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought you did some research. <laughs> That's what she said. The top on. Tiny cord was it? Yeah. Is it wrapped around the box? Yeah. Did you spill it? No. What is this? Is it going? I mean, maybe I should have read the directions. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just, uh, I don't know how you time it or anything. Okay, so it has the, the time on here. I guess you're supposed to set your own timer. So I'll get a timer. Or one to three eggs is only five minutes. So I'll do, um, is this where the thing? I don't even know how you work. Good gravy. <laughs> I work anything around here. <laughs> Five minutes. So an R2-D2 rings. <laughs> my timer went off for five minutes. Or it's five minutes now. So, oh, okay. so you can turn it off. Hard boiled in five minutes? That's not bad. That's what it says. Yeah, it's like cracked open. Look at that. Alright, so I'm just going to put them down in the um, ice water. and uh, let them cool down for a minute. But also I want to show you, it comes with a little tray for if you want to make like um, scrambled eggs or you can make um, a omelet. 
And then it also comes with these little the split egg thing. They used to have a little round circle For one that you could stick on. Eggs. A, oh yeah, like a um like a muffin or something. An egg McMuffin. Yeah, I guess you could use this for the egg McMuffin. That's too big. Well, you could probably put something down in here that's smaller and flat and stick it down in there for the egg McMuffin. We can try that. All right, so let's see how these are. This is the one, the one from the grocery store. It, yeah, it cracked. This is the grocery store egg. Feel uneasy. It doesn't feel to me like it's cooked in the middle because it feels squishy. But I guess we'll see. I'm peeling it really fast. So let me uh, grab a knife real quick. Oh, yeah. Soft boil. So it needs a little extra time than the hey, direction. More than say. five minutes, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to put these back on. I don't, no, I wouldn't eat that. Who would either? Not, not me. <laughs> Maybe you, but not me. <laughs> I'm not a soft boiled egg person. Okay, so I'll turn it back on. I'll give it another, what would you say, another five minutes. We would have waited through the whole thing. I guess the timer going off on this. I don't know. I don't know how it set a time or how it knows it's ready or anything. So. Maybe when you flip it on. All right, now shut up. How do you get to stop? <laughs> okay. Well, that was Ooh. annoying noise on the TV. Yeah, I was like, why has this show got this annoying music? <laughs> we'll see. So you can give that to the dog? Yeah, the dogs. All right, so these are our chicken eggs. See how they peel. If they peel easy, that'll be good. Not too bad so far, yeah. A lot better than what they usually do. Good. So I would, I would definitely recommend this if you have um, chickens, your own chickens like we do. That peeled a lot better than boiling it on the stove. Okay. Well, you know what? <clears throat> I don't know if it went for the full five extra five minutes. So. Oh, it had to warm up again. Yeah. So I, I think seven minutes probably would do a, a whole egg but i would eat it like that but i wouldn't eat it all the time. i don't know i think if you're going to put more than you know like if you're going to put like five or fill it up it's probably going to be more like 12 or i'm not exactly sure how that timer works though i think it starts when you flip it on i know but how does how does it know how long to go So I didn't read through all the directions, <clears throat> but I'm going to do a test. I'm going to do a stopwatch. I'm going to put three more eggs on, start it, and then see um, what, how it, how long it goes before the music starts. So, start it again. I'm going to hit start, and there we go. Uh, that was about 12. 12 minutes, okay. Because the phone one did. <laughs> All right, and I, what I forgot to do with these eggs is put holes in the bottom of them. So that, so. that make a difference? We'll, we'll see. I have no idea. What is, oh, this one was boiled from last time. Oh, I peeled it, at, and as you can see, the shell stuck to the egg really bad, so it could be that's the reason why you, uh, you put a hole in it. Put the hole in it. It seems to me it didn't explode or anything. Look, it's cooked all the way through. Well, there all right. you go. So that, really, just put it in there until the ringer goes off. And then. Yeah, and then we noticed like there's this, looks like rust, but also it says on the instructions, your egg cooker will not rust. <laughs> so. And then what that is is uh, minerals from the water. That's really, that's a lot of minerals. <laughs> Unless that's something from the eggs. Yeah, I don't know. What it those didn't have holes in them, so it must be something minerals from the water or something. I'm gonna clean it up. It kind of smells like burnt. Like it kind of like burns the water you or something. Smelled it. Yeah, you, you can smell it. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but I really like this thing. I think it's really cute. 
<laughs> hey, boom pals out. Like, subscribe, comment, and share.